How's it going everyone? Today we got a story time of a spoiled kid who steals his dad's Rolex and flexes it at school. And it's pretty satisfying when this kid who's been flexing this Rolex the whole time, his dad actually storms into school and confronts him like mid-class. It's a pretty crazy funny karma story that I know you'll enjoy. So leave a like on the video right now to claim your free nothing. With that being said, let's just jump right into it. So we're going to call the subscriber who submitted this story Chip. So anyways, there's a kid in Chip's class who we're going to call the spoiled kid. And uh, yeah, I mean, I kind of give a definition of the spoiled kid every single time I do it. But I feel like every single time it's a little bit different. What you got to know about this spoiled kid is there's been spoiled kid in past stories that, you know, their parents might have a decent amount of money. Like their parents might be like, yeah, their parents are doing pretty good. But you got to realize that this spoiled kid is at a whole new level. Like, this spoiled kid, his parents are just, like, loaded beyond imagination. Okay, not beyond imagination, but his parents are doing real well, you know what I mean? Uh, so, yeah, unfortunately, right, uh, this kid has a little bit of a, a little bit of an ego associated with that, which I've, I, it's not that I don't understand, but it's just like, bro, it's like you're having an ego over something that you didn't even do. Like, maybe I'd understand it more if, like, you're the reason why you had the money. And at the end of the day, even if you're the reason why you got all that money, you still shouldn't have an ego around it. But that's hard. That's easier said than done. But, yeah, this kid would literally think that he was the man because his parents had all this money, which, like, once again, first of all, these, these bros in frickin' middle school or early high school, what does it matter, like, how much money your parents have? Like, I get it, like, maybe in some situations, like, in some really crazy high schools, it's, like, a competition or whatever, but for, like, the average high school, yeah, okay, bro, you're, like, I get it, like, the boys, like, if you're boys with this kid, you get to go to a really cool sleepover or whatever, but other than that, like, who cares, bro? But the spoiled rich kid in Chip's class would always just believe that because his parents had more money, like significantly more money than everyone else's parents, that somehow he was just like automatically cooler and better than all of them. Yeah, so this was kind of like an ongoing theme throughout Chip's entire time knowing the spoiled rich kid. But there was an event that happened that triggered the rest of the story. And it went something like this. The spoiled rich kid had some crazy perception of himself that everyone thought he was super cool and all the girls thought he was super hot because his parents had a lot of money. So because of this, the spoiled rich kid decides that the best course of action would be for him to, uh, well, not the best course of action, but basically there was a girl who he had a big crush on and he kind of like went into the situation thinking that he basically was Justin Bieber. He was Justin Bieber of... I don't know, uh, like, freaking their elementary, bro. Like, you're not the Justin Bieber of anything, buddy. Like, I don't know how else to say it. And it's not, as, it's not even as if he was cool and popular. Bro was not cool nor popular. And low-key, that was because he didn't try and develop any of his relationships. He didn't try and, like, I don't know, do anything that would make you cool, which I guess in high school... You don't really have to do anything that interesting to make you cool, but you know what I mean. Uh, bro really just assumed that everyone thought he was super swag and all the girls wanted him because his parents had a lot of money. So one day, he decides to go and ask out this girl, and, uh, well, shocker, she says no to him because she doesn't know who he is, and also he's kind of weird. He's kind of known as, like, that kid who's got really rich parents, but he's super weird, right? And so that just sets him off, like... Chip, like, saw as he was walking out of the room or out of wherever when the girl said no to him. And, you know, the spoiled kid, Chip overheard the spoiled kid mumbling to himself, like, I'm going to show them all that I am the coolest. Like, they will know, like, they must not know how rich my parents truly are. Which is just kind of funny that he's saying that because it just shows, like, how deep in the delusion he is. It's very obvious that the reason why that this girl rejected him and the reason why maybe he's not the most popular, it's not because people don't know how rich his parents are. Bro, they know that you have a cool house, dude. I don't know how else to say it. Like, no one really cares. Um, so he really thought that despite showing off to people that he really had, like, uh, hit not, sorry, correction, not that he had, that his parents really had as much money as they do, that all of a sudden this girl was going to come crawling back to him begging like please take me back please that's all i want it's like oh okay bro obviously that's not gonna happen but the spoiled kid kind of lives in his own world and he's gonna learn pretty soon that it's not gonna do anything 
So anyways, a couple days later, the spoiled kid comes into school and he's wearing a freaking like expensive Rolex watch. Like, uh, it, it's, it, I, I feel like a Rolex watch, there's a lot of really expensive watches out there. I feel like so many of them are kind of discreet. Like, you can look at a watch and you're like, dang, that's a nice watch. Might be like 200 bucks, which is a lot for a watch. But if you know anything about watches, they go a lot higher. But there could also be a watch that looks expensive. You're like, dang, that's a nice watch. And it's like a million dollars. And honestly, the difference between the $200 watch and the million dollar watch is not that crazy. But I feel like a Rolex watch, just by the commercials they do and just its association and culture, you kind of just know what kind of watch it is. So one day, Chip sees the spoiled kid coming to school wearing a Rolex watch. Yeah, so when Chip saw this, he already knew. He, he was like, whoa. And word spread really quickly that the spoiled kid was wearing some crazy Rolex watch or whatever. And the spoiled kid, trust me, he liked the attention. And the thing is, too, it wasn't a situation where the spoiled kid wore the Rolex watch, but maybe he just had it on his wrist and, you know, he was kind of keeping it discreet. This was a situation where, okay, I'll paint the picture for you. Chip comes into school, and as soon as he sees the spoiled kid, he's like, yo, Chip! And Chip's like, yeah, what's up, man? He's like, dude, look at my wrist. It's so icy, bro. And he, like, takes out his wrist. And he's, like, basically waving his wrist around, like, shaking it. And Chip is like, um, okay. And it's funny because, like, because the spoiled kid is trying to draw so much attention to his wrist by shaking it and moving it, Chip can't even really get a good sight of, like, what's on his wrist. But eventually when he stops, Chip's noticed, like, oh, oh, wow, okay, that is a Rolex watch. Like, okay, that's actually really impressive. And by impressive, he doesn't mean, wow, like, congratulations, spoiled kid, you really earned that. He means, like, wow, that's really impressive that your dad would let you wear that. Little did Chip know, um, well, how do I put this? The dad did not willingly let his son wear his Rolex into school. Anyway, so uh, there, time passes, and the spoiled kid continues to just, like, shake the Rolex watch, keeps on flexing it everywhere, is this being super obnoxious, and word is spreading really quickly. Probably at this time, and I don't know this for a fact, but I can make a pretty fair assumption that during this time, um, the spoiled kid's dad must have either been like at home looking for his watch to wear to go to work, and is like, where did I put my watch? Or maybe for somehow was starting to realize that his watch was gone, which is a pretty big deal. And even though they could probably buy 10 more Rolex watches and not really care about it, still one of those things. And maybe it also had some sentimental value. Maybe he got it when he closed a big sale or something. Hey, man, I don't know this man's life like that. Yeah, so anyways, right, sure enough, the subscriber is starting to think like a little bit I think his word is spreading so much about the spoiled kids Rolex watch. Like, I'm not going to lie. Kids were definitely starting to be like, yo, that's cool. But also they were kind of questioning the fact that the spoiled kid was allowed to wear that because the spoiled kid, everyone knew that he had a really crazy that his parents were super rich because the only reason they really knew was one, the car that he gets picked up in is always like some crazy car. And also, too, a lot of them were invited to the spoiled kid's, like, second grade birthday party at his house. And for that reason, his extreme house, like, kids were just like, oh, my God, that kid's house is insane. So he was always kind of known of being, like, the rich kid or whatever because of his parents. But it's not like he ever wore anything crazy. Thankfully, his parents were sane enough not to be like, yeah, fifth grader, you can wear a Gucci shirt. Like, no, bro. Like, he still wore the clothes of the other kids. Probably, like, a little bit nicer. Probably had a little bit more variation and definitely definitely had access to a lot more stuff. But it just really did feel out of character. And, I mean, I don't think these kids were doing deep character analysis of the spoil kit before and after. But what I'm trying to say is it just felt out of place that the spoil kid was wearing a Rolex watch. And they would all be validated uh, a couple hours later in math class. So Chip had the same math class as the spoiled kid, and this was right before lunch. So this was like, if school starts at 8, this was at like 11. So it's been a couple hours of the spoiled kid flexing his new Rolex watch to everyone. So anyways, they're in the middle of math class. And the spoiled kid is still proceeding to be like, hmm... Hey guys, do you see my watch? Oh, it is so nice and so cool. 
Do you guys see it? Like, I just want to make sure you guys see it so you understand, like, the amount of wealth I have at my disposal. Mm. I don't know if this... Uh, the spoiled kid was really molding after, uh, you know, getting rejected by that girl. So he was really trying to make sure that everybody saw it. He needed everybody to know. I mean, the spoiled kid would soon learn that that's not going to solve all of his problems. But for the spoiled kid, a pretty... A bigger problem was about to come his way. So earlier in the math class, the teacher, the math teacher, actually gets a phone call. And uh, Chip overhears the teacher saying, yes, oh yes, yeah, Spoil Kid is in class. Okay, cool, cool. And then puts down the phone. Nothing after that point. So I'll give you guys a little context, because at the time, Chip didn't know what that was all about. The principal was basically calling to make sure or to see if the Spoil Kid was in the math class. And, uh, yeah, so what happened was towards the end of math class, the, uh, spoiled kid is still flexing his, with big quotation marks around his, Rolex watch, when the door slams open. And you know who's at the door? Yeah, the spoiled kid's dad. Real quick, if you made it this far into the video, I want you to comment, uh, Rolex down below. That'll be the secret word of the day. If you're watching on YouTube, please make sure you are subscribed with notifications on, left a like. And if you're listening to this on Spotify, please make sure to take a second to check if you have rated the podcast five stars, followed and turned on notifications. And also on Spotify, there's a little question. Please make sure to answer that and engage with it. Anyways, let's just, let's just get right back to it. So yeah, sure enough, right? The spoiled kid is just confronted with his dad spawning in. And you, Chip, already knew off the bat, like, his dad was just coming in with just an angry look on his face. They already knew that, like, the dad was not about to be playing around here. So, yeah, right off the bat, the spoil kid's like, oh, hello, father. And the, the spoil kid's dad is like, may I speak to you privately? And so the spoil kid's like, uh -huh, uh -huh. And you can already see that the spoil kid has both of his hands folded behind his back. Uh, he, bro was acting like he was a senator in Star Wars. Like, dude, you're very clearly... Your bro's acting like he's General Grievous right now. Like, we both... You can't hide that Rolex watch forever behind your back. But the spoiled kid, with both hands behind his back, walks to where his dad is. And his dad takes him outside. But here's the thing. Chip is sitting right by the door, and they don't lock the door or close the door that much when they step outside. So Chip was able to hear everything. Yeah, so basically goes along the lines of like, like you stole this, like did you steal my Rolex? And the spoiled kid's like, no. And his dad's like, show me your wrist. He's like, um, my wrist fell off. He's like, what? He's like, um, I don't know where my wrist went. <laughs> he was like hiding them behind his back. So yeah, the dad was like, show me your wrist. He's like, okay. And sure enough, like obviously the big Rolex watch is on there. His dad very quickly takes it off. He's like, do you know, like, what it means to steal from your father, take this without my, without permission, bring this down to the school where it could be stolen? Like, if you, like, if you want something, like a cool watch to wear, maybe we can do something about it at your birthday, but you are never allowed to steal from me like this. And the thing was, bro, the dad was speaking real loud, so everybody overheard it. Everyone, not just Chip, bro. At first, Chip thought... Oh, I'm going to be the only one, only one to overhear it because I'm so close to the door. But nah, man, everyone was hearing this kid's dad just chew him out. And his, this dad's like, like, I like, I don't know if I can trust you. Like, what are you trying to do? Like, you trying to like show off to your classmates? Like, you can show off something that you earn. Like, I know I was thinking like, even if you wanted to watch your birthday, maybe we could have done that before. But now like that ship has sailed. The spoiled kid's like, but I think a watch could be cool. And the dad's like, well, that's too tough for you, buddy. And he's like, all right, go back in there. And the spoiled kid walks back into the class looking all sad and dejected. And that's when he notices that the whole class saw what just happened. The whole class just saw his dad humiliate him and basically uh, it owned the spoiled rich kid, which happened to be his own son. So I guess in some way the spoiled kid got what he wanted because the whole class saw that Yes, his parents were rich enough to afford a Rolex watch, but also, he also got humiliated by his own dad in front of everyone, so he definitely didn't gain any coolness points from that. Or at least I'd say so.